Hey guys, it's Kara here on Rob Graves. I am going to talk to you guys today about reusable toilet paper. Um, some people call it family cloth. I just prefer reusable toilet paper because that's what it is. Anyway, um, I started using this method, I suppose, now that I have moved out of my parents' house and I'm living on my own. I do have roommates, which is another thing that comes to question when you talk about something that is maybe a little bit controversial even to people who already use reusable menstrual products or reusable paper towels or whatnot. I can do a video as well on reusable paper towels if anyone would like because I use those as well. Um, so the reusable toilet paper that I have right now, I literally made it in less than an hour. I have a huge stash of it. It was no trouble at all to make, no no work, it wasn't complicated. You'll see why in a second. Um, I think there were maybe like four or five different towels that I just cut up into the size that I wanted them to be. And I literally just cut them. I didn't do anything else. I cut them and then I threw them all into the washing machine washed them up, threw them in the dryer, dried them, and then you, or I guess if you're going to use this method, then you would trim off the long strings that come off, and then it will stay frayed like this, but no more strings will fall out any longer. And not all of them have the hem on one side. Some of them are rough around all the edges. And it's it holds together great. I mean, definitely compared to regular toilet paper. Regular toilet paper you have, uh, it falls apart before you're done using it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I prefer this much better. I have a small stack here. This is about how much I would have in the bathroom at a time. And then I have a paper bag from Whole Foods that I have three other stacks about this big in there of clean. And then this is how much I happen to have left in the bathroom. Uh, this is just the box that I keep it in. So if I were going to refill it, I can show you how that would work. I'm going to stack this all up and then just fit it all in the box. Um, it's not really that complicated to do. And then it just sits in there like that and you can pull out whatever you need and you can also do different colors depending on what you're wiping you know I mean if you're on your period you don't want to use a bright white one for instance because that might stain um, you can stain treat them just like regular uh, cloth pads if that's what you use and then I have this giant wet bag here I think it's actually just considered a medium sized wet bag but it's large for someone who isn't cloth diapering um, it's from Precious Stars I got it quite a while ago and it has this neat little strap here that I wrap a couple of times around the uh, pipe that is under the sink and then I clip it up there and it hangs under the sink. No one has to see it or touch it or deal with it and it's not a big deal. And that's that's pretty much all that cloth cloth toilet paper is. It's super easy. It's not it's not really gross. I mean when I take my wet bag out to clean it, I just unzip it. It does stay unzipped when it's in the bathroom, uh, but I didn't want to unzip it because it does have some, some dirty stuff in it right now. But I just unzip it, I dump the contents out, and I don't have to put my hand inside the wet bag. Sorry about that. Um, I just push it up from the bottom and turn it inside out and throw that in the washer and just wash it all up throw it in the dryer, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions about this topic, definitely ask down below or send me a private message or whatnot. Um, go ahead and let me know what you think. I will see you guys around next video.